We have a box that has space for 12 oranges, but there is only 11 oranges in the box. We remove four oranges, so what is left is seven oranges in a box with space for 12 oranges. If expressed as a fraction, we can write it as 11 twelfths minus 4 twelfths, leaving us with 7 twelfths. Let's repeat what we have done. We are subtracting from 11 twelfths, 4 twelfths. As the denominators are the same, we only subtract numbers in the numerators. So from 11, we subtracted 4. That gave us 7. So the answer is 7 twelfths. Did you notice that we only subtract numerators, but denominator did not change? When we subtract fractions with the same denominator, we only have to subtract numerators. One more example. How much is 8 over 9 minus 7 over 9? As denominators are the same, we only subtract number of parts in numerators. So from eight parts, we subtract seven parts, leaving with one part from a total of nine equal parts, or one ninth. Let's practice. How much is three fifths minus one fifth? If you would like to solve this problem on your own, please pause the video and work out your answer. When ready, unpause the video to check the answer. Okay, let's check the answer now. As we have the same denominators, we only subtract numbers in the numerators. So we subtract from 3, 1. And that leaves us with two parts out of a total of five equal parts. So 3 fifths minus one-fifth is two-fifths.